to another episode. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Danyo, but you can call me Donny B. And today is your weekly laundry motivation day. So I know you probably got a pile of clothes that's sitting over in the corner that's probably been sitting there for a while waiting on you to tackle it. But this right here is your motivation to get up and get that laundry washed, dried, folded, and put up. Even if you tackle just one load of laundry today, this mo this video is the service motivation motivation and help you get up and do that. Um, so today what this means is I got quite a bit to do. I'm going out of town and my in-laws are coming. This is just some of it too. I still got some in the other room. But my in-laws are coming into town and they're going to be watching the boys. And I don't want to come back to a laundry room full of clothes because when I come back, I'm probably going to be tired. And so I'm going to have to tend to the boys and I don't want to have to wash clothes and tend to the boys at the same time. So while they're at school right now, I'm just going to go Go ahead and throw a couple loads of clothes in the wash in the dryer I have already started I have a load that's already been washed and it's sitting here waiting to be folded I have a load in the dryer and I have a load in the washer it's right now we're going to go ahead and get started we're going to make sure that we have all of our supplies that we needed so we do not have to stop and start so let's see do we have a laundry detergent Laundry detergent, check. Um, let's see. Fabric softener. We do have fabric softener, check. All right, scent beads. Fragrance boosters. We got quite, we have a few of them. Um, and we also have this brand here. So if I run out of the other one, I have plenty of the uh, Purex crystals and those work amazingly. We have some bleach for, I'm usually probably just gonna wash one load of white clothes. I have enough bleach to handle that. And I have a little vinegar to put in my towel to try to cut the funk. All right, so enough is enough. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and grab that load of laundry. Put it in the wash machine. Press, put it on whatever cycle you need to put it on. Push start and let's go. Since I have so much to cover, I have no time to waste. I must go ahead and get everything done as quickly as possible. Um, I am going to not separate my clothes as I normally do before I start washing. And I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna go into my master bedroom and this is where my husband keeps his uh, his clothes. This is his drop off station. So I'm going to pick up this, ba this basket as well as some of the towels that are in the bathroom here and I am, my Mindful that this basket is extremely heavy so I'm going to lift with my knees and not my back because I hurt my back before lifting a big basket like this whoa <laughs> this is a lot so I'm just gonna go ahead and while I'm sorting I'm just going to put the likes like clothes with the likes in the washer machine so I don't miss out on any time last load of laundry that stays in the dryer that you sometimes forget about or just don't feel like going back to so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on a hanger and I am going to put them in their respective location
In my last video, I spoke about giving yourself grace and how important it is to allow yourself some grace and not to beat yourself up about a task or something that you may not have been able to tackle. So tell me this, what did you find yourself giving yourself grace about? Something that you was like, you know what, I'll pick it up later and I'll get back to it. So I'm gonna let you guys in on something. It's a work in progress. Now this is my content slash beauty room slash um, guest bedroom. As you can see, I still have stuff all over the place. It's simply because, let me widen it up so you can get a bigger view of the room. Like um, some of these clothes are from thrifting. Those of you who know, know I love to thrift and I have a couple of videos or reels or stories where I show you a couple of my outfits. But this is where I house some of the clothes after I wash them. And so um, I'm just trying to find a way to organize everything. I've taken over this closet up here to where I put some of my stuff in it. I just got to clean off that top shelf. But I've started hanging up some of the clothes after I've washed them. Here are some of the shoes that I've got and some of the bags. I, don't, I have no idea what's in those boxes. But that's a sewing machine that my mom bought me. I never opened that right there. I don't even want to talk about it, but I'll tell you in that box is some organization stuff that's supposed to go in my pantry. Um, but I'm just working on finding another space to house my clothes because I've ran out of clothes in my main bedroom. But yeah, those clothes that you just saw me wash and hang up, that's going to go in this closet. Hopefully sooner than later, I can get this room organized. I also want to decorate the room. I'm going to be shopping my house and I'm going to be decorating this room because I have quite a bit of stuff in my storage that needs to go up. Um, as well as making this a functional creator room for myself and it's basically where I'm going to be housing everything like my lights and the clothing as you could see. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm going to leave my handle down below and it's always in my description box. Most of the stuff that's here in these closets in this room you will see on my Instagram. One of the keys that I have found in order to be successful in your laundry day is to keep moving, keep going, don't stop because as soon as you slow down, you're gonna get tired and it's gonna be a fact of mind over matter at that time and trying to continue on. So just keep moving. Do you see this? Do you see this? My man started folding them clothes for me. You see that? Y'all get y'all a Freddy. He help you with your household chores. And that's one thing that I love about him, that he has no problem stepping in to do some household chores for me. I mentioned that you should keep moving in order to um, continue washing your clothes. What that looks like for me is like in between loads, what I find myself doing is maybe putting a load of dishes in the dishwasher or going to quickly tidy up another room or maybe it's you know, feeding the kids or finding them something to work, to wear to school the next day. So if you keep moving, it'll be mind over matter and you will not find yourself getting as tired, which allows you to finish your task of washing laundry. I've been watching you 
you for a while I know you look at me the same way You move up close but you don't speak I have to look the other way But curious it is getting me It gets a better part of me Watching you, watching me, watching you, watching me Today I went thrifting and these are a few pieces that I picked up that I want to wear on my trip this weekend and some of them are special have special care instructions on the inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I wash likes put likes and I am going to look at this tag of this sweater to see exactly how I should be washing this this shirt because I do not want to mess it up simply because I have nothing else in mind to wear tomorrow so in your tag make sure that you're looking in your tags to make sure that you're washing um, your clothes appropriately and also in the meantime you remember when I said to keep moving what I did is which is why I have this turban on my head is that I went and I shampooed my hair right now I'm just letting the conditioner sit on it for a little while so again this is what keep moving looks like The special care instructions for this pink sweater as well as the burgundy one that I am going to pull out of the dryer says to lay flat and let it dry, not to put it in the dryer. But do you know that this sweater took like a day and a half in order to dry? I put it on top of the dryer here because the dryer does emit a little heat to kind of help with the drying process. Um, it did help a little bit because the I laid the burgundy sweater on the kitchen counter to dry and it was still pretty damp that next morning. So I'm laying this on the dryer to let it dry overnight and I thought that it was going to be dry but it absolutely was not. So I found myself packing it in my luggage um, because my flight was only for like two hours and then when, once I got to my hotel I laid it flat to dry for it to continue drying. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your day.